my destination. Thank you, David. And thank you, Thomas. You're the one that did all the work. This is a lovely way to get around. And I'll be meeting some more movers and shakers at South Bank later in the show. Right here. As soon as you meet Hayley Lake, you'll love her. This Coochie Mudlow Island local travelled the world first class as an international airline hostess for 25 years. But nothing compared to home sweet home. She gave it all away for the quiet life. But as you can see, a quiet life doesn't mean a dull one. She now devotes all her time to creating a colourful world for her and the kids. Oh. Look, this is Laurel. Say hello, Laurel. Hello, darling. She's got Would purple. Would you like a hamper? Would you like a little hamper? Oh, it's lovely. Or oh, do you want some oh, tea, Carla? Goodness me. I've got the world's ugliest sheep. But <laughs> only a mother could love her. Hayley, this is amazing. Donkey, a train that you live in. What have you tried to create here? Oh, just a piece of paradise that's fun. Ever since a little girl, I loved creating things and um, I actually used to suffer depression when I was a little kid and I remember reading a book saying if you surround yourself with things that make you feel happy, it'll instantly make you feel good and it's true. I live basically like a child. And the best thing is, you go to bed in a purple train. Oh, I know, it's gorgeous. Bliss! It's like a gypsy's caravan, I just <laughs> love it. <laughs> Hayley's quirky digs are a pretty accurate reflection of her personality, creativity and fertile imagination. And she's planted the home renovation seeds around another patch of coochie. Let me introduce you to quirky cottages. La Mina Amour, Beach Chalet, The Lochiel and my favourite, The Cow House. I think coming to Coochie gave me that freedom to just go wild because things were a little bit quirky and different over here so I could be myself. With my previous job, I was so sick to death of staying in sterile hotel rooms so I think that was probably a subconscious thing too that I just wanted to make it something totally different so you wouldn't get bored. Each cottage may be individually themed but a common theme is thread throughout all of them and that's fun. Everywhere I look I see things that would keep kids occupied, for instance like dress-ups. Yep, but it's not just for the kids, Laurel. Adults love it too. All the fathers often put the wigs on and come out and the kids giggle. I've even seen six-year-olds race down the street using the little horses. And I thought, great, this is what I wanted. Adults to be able to come kids again and have fun. Lamina Omoa is beautifully furnished with Haley's personal treasures and knickknacks she's gathered from around the globe. And the beach chalet, well, it'll knock your socks off. I know, you should hear the kids, Laurel. They squeal with delight. They honestly scream. <laughs> and they do what you're doing, jump straight on the bed. <laughs> well, Hayley, I thought I'd seen it all. Entertainment for kids and accommodation. This is like a kids club. This is kids heaven. I've got so much for them, all free of charge. Now, the only problem the munchkins will face, the tough decision of whether to play indoors or outside. Every cottage has a path that unravels one of the best communal backyards I have ever seen. Complete with a combi cubby, of course. Oh, it's endless. <laughs> now, what about your creative flair, your creative outburst? Will it, will it ever stop, do you think? I don't think it ever will. I think that's why I'm going to die here. I'll be 100 and still create. I'll just put one bit more of mosaic on. <laughs> I'll just paint one more thing. No, I just love it. I just don't stop. Coochie Mudlo Island is just a 10 minute ferry ride from Victoria Point. So you and the pets, yes of course they're welcome as well, have no excuse not to visit. Jump onto the website for all the details and prices. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Ahead on Hang the show, on. there are itchy trigger fingers all round on our visit to Tambourine Mountain.